And Chris and Mary, in that news conference, we learned why we call the FDNY New York's bravest. Of course, we heard that one person has died. In this case, they have not been removed from the building yet. The FDNY found their body on the third floor of this apartment building. Two firefighters injured. Others, uh, others hurt as well and taken to the hospital. But we're hearing about one man who had the ride of his life this morning and the firefighter who saved him. Firefighter Jim Lee used a life-saving rope. The fire department tells us they only use this rope maybe once a year or every few years. Firefighter Lee was lowered over these flames that were flying out of this apartment building, an older gentleman screaming out of that fifth floor window. Firefighter Lee was able to grab onto him and pull him down to safety the whole time coaching him through this. I grabbed him out of the window and we went down to the uh, ground. They lowered me all the way down to the ground and then we got him out front to get medical attention. I just told him to stay calm and when we got down I said, I hope, I hope you enjoyed the ride. <laughs> uh, you know, he sort of smiled and he was, you know, he was thankful. You know, he just said he was thankful. Firefighter Lee says just 15 seconds after he and the man reached the ground, that rope burned through and fell to the ground on top of them. That man taken to the hospital again. One person has died inside of this building on the third floor. Two firefighters injured as well. We're learning this fire started at around 3.30 in the morning. It burned for over an hour and there still is an active scene here as firefighters tell us they're still working to put out the hot spots in the rear of this building. Live on the Upper East Side, Magdalena Doris, CBS 2 News.